how to use ClickUp for project management. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use ClickUp, a very powerful productivity tool to manage your project. And to start, let's talk about the settings. Okay, so uh, this is the dashboard that you will see when you're first opening ClickUp. So after you do your signing up, and you watch the onboarding video, you will make one workspace. I'll just, I, I myself, I named it Rehan's workspace, my first workspace, and you will see this display. Now let's go over to the settings first to see what we can do to it. Now in the settings, you can manage the workspaces people, which is the members of your workspace. Now ClickUp is a, collaborative tools and I think it's very powerful to do collaborative work because after all you want to manage projects for in ClickUp right and to manage projects you need to have everyone in your project on board and that is the reason why I think you need to add everyone on board in your ClickUp. Now the ClickUp uh, people management is very similar with other management uh, of people in, uh, in apps, like you have your role, you have your settings, you can uh, set the ownership and set the access to each members. So I highly recommend you to do that. But uh, in this video, I will actually show you how we can use this for our personal man uh, management. Now let's talk about upgrade next. So let's talk about the plans. So ClickUp is paid with a monthly a subscription scheme per member. So you have your unlimited business and business plus. Now uh, this is all depending highly on your usage, but I recommend you to stick to the free plan if you're just starting out and if it's only you in ClickUp. However, I do recommend you to upgrade to unlimited if you're ready to scale uh, in, in ClickUp and you start to need the benefit of paid plans like time tracking, uh, unlimited gun charts, unlimited custom fields. We will see the power of these premium tools later on. Now, next is the click apps. So ClickUp is, is cool. One of the reason is because you can have your apps integrated. Now, the good thing about ClickUp is that you can integrate with many other collaborative apps that you have previously uh, used. That's why they say one app for everything. So for example, you have Figma as your media creation tool. And as you know, it's also collaborative and you might want to manage your work in Figma with your team in ClickUp. Now you can easily do that by going to the integrations tab over here under Click Apps, go to App Center, and then you can see Figma is listed as one of the many integrations you can do to ClickUp. You can also integrate Dropbox, Google Calendar, Google Drive, Slack, or GitHub, and even Azure DevOps. Now. After you are done integrating all your apps and work in different applications to ClickUp, you might also want to import your data or your workspace from other productivity apps similar to ClickUp. Now you can do that by going straight into the imports and exports all the way down over here. And you can start importing from Notion, Asana, Confluence, Trello, Todoist, Monday.com and all of the apps listed here so that you can get uh, going and migrate to ClickUp. All right, now let's go back into our dashboard and let's start uh, populating our space. Now, I will show you the around the left menu here first. So basically you have your home over here which stores all of your uh, informations and all of your elements underneath it. You have your agenda, uh, but you need to integrate your calendar. So you have your agenda over here on the right. After you add your calendar account, like Google uh, Calendar or OneDrive Calendar, you can add task or reminder over here. 
uh, which is part of the list as I will show you later on and you will have your comments assigned to you here. But the assigned comments uh, menu here will be most useful if you are uh, on a team in ClickUp. Okay, so next you have your inbox, which is a more focused space for your uh, ads. Maybe like as as you use this collaboratively, people will tag you or people will comment in your uh, in your work inside the spaces over here inside the lists or the folder, and it will show here. So this is anything uh, other people interacted you with. Next is the docs. Now, this is one of the pro feature in uh, ClickUp, but the docs here is basically uh, you can create a document straight from ClickUp and you can export it to many other formats. Next is the dashboards. Now, this is actually one of the views you can uh, use for the lists down here later on, but this is basically like a dashboard. You can see the uh, overview of your work similar to home but more information next are the clips timesheets and more uh, you have your other uh, tools over here but we will not be uh, talking about them in this video so okay so let's get down to the spaces now you have everything everything uh, contains all of the elements that are underneath your uh, team space now the the system of ClickUp is that it has a hierarchic, hierarchical uh, file system. So you have your team space that will encompass different folders. And then underneath these folders, you have your different lists of uh, to do's. So the way that I want to uh, want to organize this is that the team space over here will actually be my uh, team my team's name so let's just say okay so let's let's pretend that we are planning for a wedding so firstly let's uh let's add the name to be wedding team right and underneath the wedding team here to prepare for our wedding we sure have multiple projects to tackle now we'll name my first project over here i'll rename it uh, let's say it is events so uh the or event so this uh, folder will be for the job that will uh, include pr the preparation of the actual main event now you can add more folders uh, I will actually add another folder for the media work so let's create another folder by clicking the plus sign over here on the right and create a folder and I will name the folder to be media and let's create folder all right now underneath the event uh, or the folder over here you have a list of uh, lists and also you can add other elements under the folder over here like the like documents whiteboard or you can also add from a template but in this uh, tutorial i'm just going to uh, add i'm just going to edit the list over here and the way I like to name uh, each events is that for the these sub projects let's say for example this is for the pre-event right oh, this is for the pre-event and this is for the main event now all of these projects will correspond to their respective preparations right and also uh, under the list over here you have multiple views so that you have your clarity and time context all in the uh, works uh, in the ecosystem of the ClickUp so this is d by default you have these views you don't even need to add anything or configure anything like you would in Notion but as you can see uh, the way I like to tackle the project is to add tasks over here let's say for example uh, here I have a uh, coordinate uh, venue with vendors let's say now you can assign this to multiple person but uh, in this case I am the only person in this workspace you can add the due date and you do and you should do add the uh, due date so let's add the due date now oops this is a premium feature let's add the due date now uh, let's say it's tomorrow and once you've added all of these 
uh, informations, when you go back to the boards list, you have uh, each view for different type of uh, different type of properties that your list have. So, for example, your task has a time property, the status property, and the priority, right? Now, the board is good if you want to track the status of the uh, task. So the status of this is to do, uh, let's just move this to in progress, and the calendar view and the Gantt chart will be most effective to see the time context of the task. So for example, over here, uh, we have coordinate venue with vendors for tomorrow. And also, lastly, what I want to show you is that in each list over here, let's say, for example, this pre-event list, you can also add the dashboard over here to see metrics and insights for additional information. Now, I think this is a bit overkill for our use case right now, but uh, this will be very helpful if you're tackling on a more complex job because you do have so much task to do and you need to see the bird's eye view. So let's say a simple dashboard over here, but on the pro plan, you have uh, other setups for dashboards that are better for uh, each title. Like this is better for project management, client portal, time tracking, or team reporting. Let's just opt for the simple dashboard. And you see it. it is uh, presenting all the informations in a very neat uh, package over here. So that's pretty much how you can use uh, ClickUp for project management. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you very much.